It's a really good like dun da 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 dun 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 da 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 dun da 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 da. Hello everyone and welcome to Shonen Archive. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about the last four episodes of Chainsaw Man. Uh, what is Shonen Archive? It is a series in which me and Zen go through all of Shonen Jump anime history through, uh, that is available to us. That, <laughs> and we plan to do this until the end of time itself where one of us gets taken down by whatever thing that ends up taking us down, the most likely thing that it's happens. It's clearly going to be COVID for me. COVID's <laughs> trying to take you down. <laughs> <It's trying laughs> so it, hard. It's trying real hard. I've never seen a virus hate a person more than COVID hates you. You're like that guy who got struck by lightning three times. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and today we're going to be talking about Chainsaw Man, which is the final four episodes, because we had to, because again, Zen got COVID, so we had to <laughs> kind of screw around. Not only did Zen get COVID, but also we were very busy, so we are going to cover the last episodes of it, and that will be the, f this is officially the first series we finished for Shonen Archive, because we now have to wait for more Chainsaw Man. Crazy. That's true. Yeah, we gotta wait for next time. Yeah, starting 2023 by finishing a series. Crazy. Now, let's completely ignore the fact that we still have Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and we are literally at the end of that one, but we've been we waiting been, so... We have been done with Yu-Gi-Oh! GX for, like, four months, and we yeah. haven't made the episode. Yeah, it's crazy. I finished those episodes. <laughs> we're ready to move on. We just have to actually sit <laughs> down and talk. We're ready to talk about it any time, and we just haven't done it. Yeah, we're for, hopefully maybe next week. <laughs> we'll see. It's a lot. It's a lot to finish off. But anyway... We're here to finish off Chainsaw Man, which is the final four episodes, episode 9, episode 10, episode 11, and episode 12. Are you hyped for it, Zen? I am. I fucking love Chainsaw Man. Yes, we do. It's going to be very sad, the idea of not talking about Chainsaw Man anymore. Now all we have is oh. the manga. Now we're like Patrick. Now I'm going to starve. I only have the manga <laughs> before me now. <laughs> I only have the full manga in Jujutsu Kaisen coming out this year. And... Yeah, we have so much. I have to actually, We maybe we have to sit down and talk about Maybe we have to watch the anime for Jujutsu Kaisen so I can actually watch it. We probably it. should do Jujutsu Kaisen for the show so that, yeah, you're ready when season two comes out. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, but yeah, we're out here complaining about like, oh man, what was us while some others are like, <laughs> have well, their... Part two, and manga's coming out, and we're still like, oh. Yeah, meanwhile... Man, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> From no chainsaw man. <laughs> Meanwhile, JoJo fans be like, we have no idea. We're praying that Netflix doesn't get part seven. <laughs> and our vlog is coming out sometime next year. Whatever, that's gonna be hype for whatever. Anyway, we're here to talk about Chainsaw Man. Episode eight, Zen, Gunfire. That is literally just the name of the so of the episode. <laughs> uh, okay. So episode nine, Chainsaw Man. Oh yeah, no, uh, my bad. Wait, episode nine. Episode... No, episode nine. Isn't it no, nine, it is. Nine, ep ten, it is episode nine. I'm dumb. From yeah. Kyoto. Okay. Yes. So, uh, do you want me to do a previously on Chainsaw Man? <laughs> no, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can if you want to. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Just... um, so, uh, the ghost devil is killed by the snake devil girl. Um. A final hand from the Ghost Devil goes over and pulls Denji's uh, ripcord so that he can transform into Chainsaw Man, which wakes him up, because at this point he's still knocked out from the shot to the head. Um, he guesses that they're the bad guys, and he says that I, I love it when there's bad guys because no one complains if I kill them, <laughs> and they start fighting. Um, they are doing pretty good. And then some dudes with guns show up and start shooting at Denji, and he manages to take them out. Uh, he takes one of them hostage, and he's like, I'll kill this guy if you keep attacking me. But Katana Man cuts them both in half. Um, and killing the guy, the hostage that was his friend, and uh, cutting Denji in half as well. And they grab Denji and start to carry him away. And they're like, oh, you know, all the devil hunters are dead because we had guns. I'm sure they're fine. And then they're on the uh, train where Makima was shot in the last episode. And uh, the guys are talking about how they're going to get away. And then they turn around and they see Makima just standing there. Train pulls in at the train station. 
and Makima walks off the train and tells them, oh, there was a bunch of gunfire and bodies need to be cleaned up. Uh, I was never shot, which, uh, you know, red mm. flag there because we totally saw her get shot. Totally. She got shot to shit. <laughs> but yes, a lot flag. of times. Um, they all kind of, she puts together that, oh, they're, you know, they're after Denji right now. I need 30 convicts and I need a um, shrine at the highest possible altitude. And so they get there. And uh, as Makima is setting the scene up, Katana Man and the... What is the girl's name that controls the Snake Devil? Oh, man. I wish I re- remembered her specific name other than Snake, snake Girl. Girl. Let's call her Snake Girl. Let's we'll call her Snake Girl, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're going we, to... We don't know her name Denji. until the end of, the of I think, episode 12. That's when they actually say her name, when they reveal oh, okay. who she is. Okay. So um, they're taking Denji to put him in the van because they want the chainsaw heart. And then some of the gangsters are like, uh, something feels weird. And then automatically, suddenly he gets crushed, <laughs> like immediately. <laughs> um, the snake girl is immediately like, uh, is, is Makima still alive? And the guy on the radio is like, I don't know. And then he gets crushed immediately. Uh, they all start getting crushed. Um, Makima is doing this thing where she tells the guy, the convict, to like um, say the name of one of the terrorists. And then she smushes her hands together. And that kills the person who says the name and then crushes the terrorist to death. Um, Katana Man and the Snake Devil Girl are not killed in Makima's attack, so they go to grab Denji and run, but they get jumped by Kobeni. Yeah. (laughs) Who, true to Jimeno's uh, statement earlier, she does in fact have the moves as she dodges the Snake Devil and rushes them down and hacks off the Katana Man's uh, hand that's holding the gun which then causes the gun to fly up in the air and she catches it and turns around and like shoots him in like the coolest move ever it is insanely cool (laughs) so cool um she uses denji's body as a shield to stop herself from getting shot as she returns fire (laughs) but they do end up getting away um kabeni apologizes for crying trying to kill denji and then she starts crying recalling how the guy from the hotel, whatever his name is, yeah. the dude, Rip. Uh, saves her because he blocked uh, her from the gun and he got shot like multiple times. Um, she decides that she's going to quit next time she sees Jimeno, not realizing that Jimeno is no longer alive. Um, one of the guys in the, one of the like public safety guys ends up... Uh, Madoka. Madoka, yeah. He, he resigns says that he's not going to stay anymore because he feels like it's either quit or die, and he doesn't want to die. Makima is like, oh, that's sad. And he's like, yeah, do you know what happened? And she she gives him like a little sassy, oh, I can't tell civilians, because he just resigned. Uh, and then she walks away, and those two guys are like, we're not joining your team, you know, we're, we're going back to Kyoto. And she's like, oh, that's a shame. There's good food here. And then the episode ends. It's to die for. And then, yeah, that's how it ends. And then we get the ED, which is set to Deep Down by Emer, I think. Um, and it's an ED, which is, like, showing Makima doing her stuff, and then it's also Himeno, and there's, like, a shit ton of blood, which I think is the people who got squished to death. And, yes. <laughs> yep, there you go. And that is episode nine. Oh, man. This is a uh, good one. I really, I really like this episode. The reveal, I really like how they handle um, how secretive Makima's devil is. Because they even go to as far as like the people who she's with, uh, Kurosa and Tendo, they have to be blindfolded as well as the convicts because they're not allowed to know what her devil is. Like They don't have clearance for it. So it really shows how fucking like crazy her devil is, is that they don't, they're not even allowed to see her do her shit. Um, and we still don't know what the actual devil is. We just know that whatever it is, she's able to basically kill people, which seems like, uh, being able to kill the convict and then also kill the person as well. And I'm going to assume that's also what helps her save stuff. So I'm sure people will learn that later without saying much about it. Cause both of us have read the manga and we know, but that's about mm-hmm. basically what we know from right here. Um, the Kobeni stuff was really good because I had forgotten. 
<laughs> I had forgotten the, all the crazy fucking moves that she does. Like, not only does she do that, but after, like, her partner sacrifices her life, which ripped to that guy and all the 12 fans of him, because we can't even remember his name. <laughs> he yeah, was like, he was three people that like that dude. Yes, he was even left off of the cast list at the end. <laughs> they did a full group <laughs> of everyone, including the characters who have died. He was left off of it. <laughs> Very sad to say. Um, but anyway, I really like because when the old dude is like shooting the gun at her, she like does not hesitate and shoots him in the head. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's great. When she's uh, coming towards him, she even like is able to s- s- dodge the snake in a really cool way. I really like her picking up Denji to use as a human shield. I don't think she knows that he's basically immortal, but she still picks up his body and uses it as a shield regardless. Well, I mean, he's been cut in half, so if he's if he's not immortal, he's already dead. Yeah, so. fair enough. But um, yeah, no, I think she does know he's immortal because she's there when he's fighting the. Eternity Devil. Oh, you're right. You're right. She would know. Okay, so she knows that whatever this is, they can bring up, bring them back. Yeah. Um, uh, I liked her little like <laughs> being so tired of it all, <laughs> just being like, I'm. It was really sad when she said, I, "I'm gonna next time I see Jimeno, I'll I'm basically calling it quits because you know she's gone." And we do get to see her leave again at the beginning of this episode, which is another. Oh, uh, it really sucks. <laughs> I really like Jimeno. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, I like him in it a lot too. Yeah, um, I liked the guy uh, resigning because <laughs> he he says to her, "Did you know that we were going to be attacked?" And then that's when she says, "Like you're not, you know, you're not a part of." Yeah, it. I can't discuss uh, with uh, a civilian. Yeah, private affairs with a civilian. So it was a very much a fuck you moment. <laughs> yeah, a little get fucked for quitting moment. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Really kind of shows a lot about Makima and how she just feels that you can clearly see this is the part where it's like there's something to not specifically trust in some way. There's just too much shady stuff going around of what feels around her. But at the same time, she is still helping everyone else out. So it's kind of like... I don't know. It's en- it's enough to make people. You can make your uh, a person can make whatever distinction that they want between them. But I remember this was definitely the point when she, we clearly see her get shot and she still survives. That was the point in the manga where I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something, something's going on. Something's going on. Technically, you should not <laughs> be this okay with someone who I saw die come back and everything's fine. <laughs> But yeah, very interesting uh, stuff. I thought it was a really well done episode. And yeah, when she starts like squishing those dudes, it's really fucking well done. Especially because those users are like, oh my god, what am I going to do? And then later on, one of the guys goes like, uh, he takes a, a person hostage as if that's going to stop whatever is about to happen to him. And he just starts going like, help me, help me. And he blows up right in that lady's arms. And you see the lady red going, ah. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. I love James Mom for this specific stuff. It's just, like, so crazy, over-the-top gory. Mm-hmm. For, like, no reason. Yes, for sometimes it just feels like no reason. I think I've said before, I feel like the manga itself is very gross. Chainsaw Man is a very gross manga. And it, it it indulges in it in a lot of ways. What with its main character, one of its main female characters not even <laughs> flushing after she shits. I feel like that tells you how much... <laughs> gross this manga is and i love it for it so good episode how'd you feel quality real good all the way through Mm -hmm. uh i loved the creepy makima stuff like crushing the people and all that stuff um i like the theory that it was the the heights devil Mm. that she was using because like it was they were crushed like they were falling from a really great height and she needed altitude to use the ability i liked that idea yeah um it's cool it's a good episode Agreed. And yeah, the ED was also very well done as well. As we continue this, it was really weird going back to uh, Gintama and the ED does not change after every episode. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's... and you're like, oh, what? <laughs> what? Come on. New one every <laughs> a new ED after every episode. I'm so used to it now. Yeah, it's not the way most goes for most animes. But let's move on to episode 10 called Bruised and Battered. Go ahead, Zen. So we are in the hospital with Aki. Um, 
Denji and Power are sitting there reading a manga together, uh, <laughs> waiting. Um, Denji is eating Aki's get well fruit. Yeah, his apple. That was left for him. Um, Denji says that uh, Power's not allowed to have any because Power ran away. Um, she lied and said that she wanted to go eat or something, and he's like, no, you didn't. You just fucking ran off. Coward. Um, yeah, Aki asks who survived, and Denji's like, ah, uh, Kobeni and the guy, Madoka, but he left. Um, <clears throat> Denji explains that they're gonna split the team up for a little bit, because Makima put them on a mission, and he gets up and he takes the whole basket of apples. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, you know what? You can have one apple. <laughs> Total uh, Hulk leaving the taco. Moment. He leaves him one of his own apples. <laughs> Total Hulk um, giving the one, the two tacos to Ant Man in his <laughs> time of need. Um, Aki goes to light up a cigarette, but he remembers Himeno and he starts to cry. And then Denji comes back and is like, uh, "Oh shit! I left my manga in there, and this dude's fucking crying." <laughs> Um, and then he has like a little a little moment of crisis where he's like, "Huh, I don't I don't want to cry over Himeno." And then uh, I don't think I would cry about Power or Aki either. So I wonder if I'm even still human anymore. And then he decides, "Ah, fuck it," and <laughs> walks out with uh, Power. They meet up with Makima, and Makima's like, "Yeah, we need to train you guys so that you can get stronger." Um, because they're after Denji and stuff. So we've got Kashibe here, who's gonna teach you. Um, Kishibe kind of gives them a little quiz and they answer his questions and Kishibe's like, alright, good answers. Um, Makima leaves and they start fighting and they're like, oh, we're gonna kill this old guy. We don't give a shit. And Power gives him like a uh, a hammer and he goes to hit him with the blood hammer and Kishibe just beats the shit out of him. Uh, and then Power runs up to help him, and he cuts her throat immediately. And he's like, yeah, so now I can train you guys because you, no matter what I do to you, I can revive you afterwards, so I can just beat the shit out of you as much as I want. He says they're basically like toys now. Yeah, toys that no matter what you do, you can't break. Yeah, he's, um, I think he says, like, all the toys that I played with as a kid broke because I was too strong. <laughs> so he's finally happy to have toys that won't break on him. <laughs> It's a yeah. really cold line from a man who is clearly <laughs> drunk. <laughs> then uh, they tell Aki that um, he needs to get a new devil contract because the fox devil won't work with him anymore. Um, and he probably doesn't have enough lifespan left to use the cursed devil anymore. Because I forgot to say, earlier in this episode, he has like two years left. They ask him mm -hmm. how long he's got left. This is two years. Yeah, the um, curse devil tells him he only has two years yeah. left to live. So, uh, Aki says that he's not ready to quit yet, because the two tell him, like, you should probably quit. Um, Aki says, no, I haven't gotten my revenge yet, so I don't want to quit. Um, so they take him off to go get him a new devil contract. We cut back to, uh, Denji in power, at, like, recovering. Um, they they heal up, and then Denji asks how many times that he's been killed, and Power said probably at least 20 times, but I was usually unconscious when you were dead, so I don't know if I missed <laughs> some. Um, Power is just like, why don't we just run away? And Denji's like, nah, we're not going to do that. And then they come to the conclusion that uh, because he's drunk all the time, his brain is probably rotten, so they're probably smarter than him. So they said they're gonna win with uh, they're gonna win with their brains, and by doing that, they just mean they're wearing glasses. <laughs> I really um, the, this scene is really funny because they're just like, oh man, we're just gonna be smart. Oh my god, it's so smart. We're gonna be smart. I feel smarter already. <laughs> yeah, they're literally just walking like, yeah, we're smart now. I I can almost feel like this is an exact conversation between. Bobby and Joseph from King of the Hill where this is the <laughs> same logic where they're like, yeah, dude, we just need to be smart. <laughs> we, we just need to outsmart them. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> that is when I realized Power and 
Denji are basically Joseph and Bobby. <laughs> uh, so uh, they, they actually do hatch a pretty good plan on Kashibe. It doesn't work, but they, they manage to do some nice tricks and, you know, techniques and whatnot on him. Um, he says that this is their best attempt and they should think more often. But Power used up so much blood that she went anemic because she ran out of blood. And uh, Denji didn't properly predict the counterattack. And he's like, oh, great job today. You know what? We'll stop for today. And they're both like, yay, <laughs> like on the <laughs> ground. And then as soon as Denji goes to get up, he gets hit in the head with a knife. And Kashiba's like, what does he say? Uh, Beast should never trust the hunter. Yeah, first thing to learn here, Beast should never trust the hunter. <laughs> and then uh, we cut back to Aki. And they say that you need to make a con contract with a strong devil, but that means the contract will probably be pretty difficult because the devil is going to want something equivalent to its power. Um, we reveal that this lady who gave him a letter was Jimeno's sister, who gave him uh, letters from Jimeno and sees that most of them were Jimeno trying to figure out how to convince Aki to quit and leave with her and leave public safety, which so he has a moment where he's like, you know, if I had left, she would still be alive. Um, they tell Aki to go ahead and make a contract with the future devil. And he walks in, and right as the future devil appears, the episode ends. Mm -hmm. And we get the ED, which is called Dogland, which is Denji with a bunch of dogs. Just, like, running around, which is supposed to mm -hmm. Dogging be... it up. Yeah, just straight up dogging it up. The real... Just to really show you how much Denji is basically like a dog himself. <laughs> It's not just something, it's not just weird, weird sex thing that people have latched onto. He is legitimately a lot like a dog, <laughs> at least at this moment right now. Um, yep, yeah, okay. So this one for me, I like a lot of the stuff with Aki, um, especially because it kind of plays off of what the reason why Jimeno liked him so much, which is that no matter what happens, he still has the capacity to cry for someone that he's lost. And you can kind of see it here. You can kind of see it with the other dudes, too. Because when the other two devil hunters come in to kind of check on him, they're, like, surprised that he was crying. And they even say, like, oh, dude, were you crying? <laughs> Do you need us to leave? I don't know how many people are like, bro, are you crying? Yeah, are, are you crying? <laughs> like, it's some wrong of him to be doing. Yeah, it's so funny. Because at the same time, I think this is what makes him different from... A lot of the characters that people say he's like, which is like Sasuke and a lot of other characters, is that he actually legitimately shows emotion <laughs> and he's sad and he's legitimately crying and he's not like on a, some kind of crazy like death wish like revenge thing. He's definitely thinking of the first thing he thinks of is like, oh man, I really need to fucking cry right now. <laughs> I can't handle this emotionally, <laughs> which makes me like him all the more. Um... I also like that when he said that dude shows up, he immediately wants his apple. He only has one apple and he wants it. <laughs> Showing that Aki... Yeah, it's, it's fucking good. Aki just can't have shit. He can't even have his one apple that he got left behind for. Um, I liked a lot of what Den Denji was thinking and going through about him kind of being like, I don't know if I'm actually human. And then it actually got me thinking because when I originally read this in the manga, I actually had assumed that Denji was actually becoming more devil-like at this point. But then I realized, well, if you actually remember how he was raised, would Denji actually cry for someone that he's left that's left him basically because he didn't even i don't think he had the time for it, first of all when he lost uh puchita that he didn't really cry for him because he was literally killed at the same time but it's definitely something to think about and be kind of like yeah well it, that's a very human response is to actually cry when you feel that sad about it but if i'm thinking about my life and the way i the people i would cry for and like i cared about himeno to a certain extent too cuz she wanted she was the first person who actually legitimately wanted to be my friend and so he's kind of having this moment of just like if i if i don't cry am i even legitimately human and this is something that actual people kind of deal with too cuz there are people who are not able to cry for whatever reason and it's definitely a specific feeling of just like, does that make me human? And this makes it another case of just like trying to understand it. And they get a little bit more into it in some later episodes too, where they talk about 
what does it actually mean to be human and stuff like that. But I liked him kind of thinking about it, having a really deep thought about it, and then basically going, eh, fuck it. This sucks. <laughs> Uh, this uh, this really sucks to think about. I'm going to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Which that actually legitimately shows that he's still human. Because that's a, a thing a lot of humans do. Uh, Zen, are you there, by the way? I'm here. Okay, thank God. Okay. Again, remember, man, you have to bring in a couple of minutes. Otherwise, you're going to make me think I lost it in a connection. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. That's fair. Fair, yeah. Um, to continue on here, I like that Denji calls Kobeni the scared one. Uh, because he doesn't call Kobeni Kobeni, he just says the scared one and the guy with the glasses. But I think he quit. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked hanging out with Power when they're kind of just sharing the manga and reading with each other. And then there's also a part where she's just like at the vending machine, <laughs> kind of just like clawing at it, not really trying to buy anything from it, just trying to claw at it for a bit. <laughs> um, I thought that was really good. I like when he goes to like um when he's when they're originally going to go train. Uh, he goes in for what looks like a hug, and he chokes them out and like snaps their neck. Yeah, he snaps both their necks. Yeah, and he's like, "Listen, you're still a human body, so that means if you get your neck snapped, you're basically done for." That doesn't matter anything. It doesn't matter if you're a devil. Next snap, you're gone. So remember that. And then he feeds them blood, and he just proceeds to just beat the living shit out of them. And I thought this was actually something that I wasn't sure if he was going to be doing. But if he was doing, I'm gonna. I'm actually curious what you think. There comes a point where he leaves them and he says, "You're good for the night." And Genji starts making this really like weird noise, and I actually thought he was trying to cry because it felt like he was actually because he had been killed so many times. But Power takes it as like. Oh no, are you even- how alive are you right now? She's like beating the shit out of him to be better? Yeah, she's like hitting him in the head over and over again until it fixes his brain. Yeah, he's like, are you okay? <laughs> are you- are you not fully alive? I actually took that as him having such a rough time, he actually is legitimately crying now. But, um, we never reveal because she eventually hits him and she's- he's fine and he's like, okay. Uh, I really like their plan. Both of them coming up with their plan of their plan being we should be smarter. And them saying like, oh my god, that's such a smart idea. I already feel the brain power in me right, right, now, <laughs> right now. I've never felt smarter than this exact moment where I've decided to be smart. Uh, the fight itself I think was really good because it, it feels like power actually legitimately has an idea with her using her blood. And she comes pretty close, and I feel like all Denji's plan was is that I'm going to show up with a fucking hammer. Uh, he had his little axe thing, right? Yeah, he had a little, his little axe thing, but all he does is like go down and go, ah, and then he immediately gets kicked. He gets taken down so easily. Um, I thought that was funny. I also like when she gives him the blood hammer, and she's like, all right, go for it. It did immediately make me remember that tweet of like, if I, if we had, if e if we ever met E.T., I can tell you we would have killed him with hammers. Yeah, my friends and I would have killed E.T. with hammers. That's what I feel like when he picked up that little hammer, him and Power definitely have that energy to them. If they had ever met E.T., they would definitely have killed him with hammers. <laughs> um... And yeah, and I like that uh, Aki is still going to be going for it. I think they also talk about here that the devil do the devil like the there's the special division is up to four divisions, but because of the attack, there's no longer four divisions, so they're all just being combined into one um, under the control of Makima. And I think I can't remember if this was the last episode or this the beginning of this one. Do you remember? It's uh, a good question. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, I don't specifically remember, but at least they start to bring home the fact of like anyone who works in the special division is fucking crazy. <laughs> yes, and they continue showing that by showing the best one at number one. I can't remember if he says it right here or if he says it previously, but basically he says, like, if I'm the number one devil hunter and I'm trained, if you guys are able to in some ways keep up with me, that must make you guys as strong as anything else because I'm really fucking good at killing devils. So the entire training basis is, like, I'm just going to keep hunting you guys until the end, and I thought that was very good. Uh, I thought it was a great introduction to him because it really shows off of, like, what does the top devil hunter actually look like? And he looks fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, he does. 
Uh, so great introduction to him. And I like the ending bit here of Aki kind of going to lock up and he's meeting up with the future devil. I think they mentioned to him what the future devil took from the other people. I think the future devil took from the previous person half their life. And the other person he took both their eyes and their sense of taste, smell, and one and touch i think that's what he took from him just to let him know like this guy is serious business whatever he wants from you you're gonna have to pay it um so i thought that was a good way of starting off and kind of showing the future devil is kind of like something that's like scary a big deal yeah very big deal so yeah another good episode what'd you feel about it good really good stuff i love the aki stuff i really like his relationship with himeno and like how they kind of how her kind of dying wish was that someone would cry for her when she died and Aki does um, I like the letters from the sister and I really like Kashive and that whole that whole setup is good and power to Denji wearing glasses is fantastic yes very good now you know why that brief shot of the opening has her as wearing glasses <laughs> where's that figure let me ask you that figure arts <laughs> Where you're slacking already you have her on the shit toilet. We, now we just need her with the glasses. <laughs> next. Let's move on to the next episode. Episode 11, Mission Start. Zen, start us off. All right. So episode 11. We start with Aki and the future devil. Uh... He keeps saying the future rules, and he's like, hey, man, you should say this with me, because this is awesome. <laughs> uh, he's talking about wanting to make the contract, and Future Devil's like, all right, let me see your future, and I'll decide if you want to or not. Um, the Future Devil says that, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go in your right eye, and I'm going to give you my power. And then Aki's like, uh, what, what do I have to do? And the Future Devil's like, don't worry about it. Your death is going to be fucking horrendous. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> I, I just want to be there for it. Um, you want me to tell you? And Aki's like, nah, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm... Um, we cut back to Kashibe, who is once again beating the ever-loving shit out of Denji in power. Uh, um, he says, hey, good job. You're getting better. We don't have to do this as much as we used to. You can kind of rest a little bit more. Um, they're going to go attack the snake devil girl and the katana man. Um, and then if they fail, um, Division yeah. 4 will get shut down, and then Kashibe will kill both of them. And then Denji says, uh, if that comes to, if, if it comes to that and you have to kill me, I'll spare your life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thanks. Um, and then, uh, Kashibe is drinking with Makima, and Makima gives him this bullshit speech about, like, oh, you know... Um, if the operation is a success, Division 4 will get more stuff. And she was like, you fucking liar. And then it just ends with, the, with Makima giving him a look. Yeah, um, she gives the classic look, and then there's like a slight smile. Mm -hmm, that's she like, smirks a little bit when she gets called out. Mm -hmm. um, they're back at the, we're back at the terrorist hideout, and the snake devil girl is like, look, uh, Katana Man can come back, the rest of you cannot, so you need to not turn into zombies because we have zombies down there from the beginning when the, the zombie devil was making zombies yeah um a gift from the sort of katana man's uh, grandfather basically because he's the guy yeah. from the beginning yeah um the two guys from kyoto were like hey do you really think you can kill the gun devil uh you lost to just like a dude <laughs> just some guy <laughs> <laughs> and Haki's like hey man all right uh, I can I can do all right. Um, he would say, if I die, you can just laugh at me afterward then. Um, the guy ends up buying him a drink and says, like, you know, I'm still rooting for you, even though you pissed me off. Um, <laughs> take care of yourself, bud. Then we cut to Basically Makima, two steps away from saying, shine on, you crazy devil. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, Makima is meeting with the Yakuza, uh, the leader of the group that Katana Man is part of. And he's like, hey, you know, I didn't tell my guys to attack public safety. And Makima's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, what's the deal with the, the gun devil? Guy says, oh, you know, we give 20,000 yen and we get guns. 
Um, Makimi says, write down everyone in your organization that has a contract with the Gun Devil. Um, and then the name of everyone that you know with contracts with the Gun Devil. Not just you, but everyone. And the guy's like, there's absolutely no way that we can do that, because if we do that, you know, uh, we'll, we'll start like a Yakuza war. It'll be a big deal. And then if the Yakuza um, gets shut down, they're sort of the necessary evil protecting Japan from foreign mafia influences like China, Russia, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Makima pulls a bag out, and the guy's like, oh, you can't bribe me. And she's like, oh, this isn't a bribe. This is a bag of eyes of all of your loved ones. Uh, and we can put the eyes back in if you do what I say. Otherwise, no. Um, and then one guy grabs Makima and goes to hit her, but then she stares at him for a minute, and he starts to bleed from his nose and collapses. Um, and she's like, we don't need your fucking excuses for why you're evil. Then we cut back to the Katana Man hideout. Um, Aki's like, alright, what's the plan? And Kashiba's like, there's not a plan, we're going in. And we're, everyone just goes in. We're sending in Division uh, 4, and then he basically... Yeah. Starts telling him, like, okay, listen, who you have to actually work for is the dudes that we have. Um, yeah, they, they seal it off, and they're like, yeah, listen, the special division is mostly, like, fiends, and if you escape, it'll be worse for the public than the terrorists, so we just, you know, gotta watch them. Um, the shark fiend goes in there and starts eating zombies because he can swim inside of surfaces and he can turn into a, a shark devil for a bit. Oh, love him. Um, the violence fiend is just a guy <laughs> in a mask. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, he, he has to wear the gas mask because it shoots uh, knockout gas in case he gets out of hand. Um, Spider devil. Yeah, the spider devil who's just like a girl in a dress. Um, she turns into one. And then uh, the angel devil is there. And a zombie head bumps into his leg and he's like, ugh, gross. And then he picks it up and starts eating it. Um, Kashive explains that like the, the angel devil doesn't actually hate humans, but if you touch him, he sucks away some of your life. Um... Aki hands him a handkerchief to wipe his, like, pant leg off with. And he's like, oh, that's weird. Most humans don't like getting close to me. Uh, and he's like, whatever, as long as you don't touch my skin, I don't give a shit. Um, someone tries to shoot Aki, but the angel devil shields him, and then Aki kills him. Or he doesn't kill him, I think he just knocks him out. And he's like, arrest this guy. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, just take this guy to, to headquarters. And angel devil's like... I don't like that you're giving me orders, but I also don't want to fight, so I'll do it. And he leaves. And then um, they say to leave the zombies to all of the fiends and that Kobeni, Denji, and Power are going to go after Katana Man themselves. Uh, and they go to split up. Aki arrives on the fourth floor, uh, dodges a bullet, and knocks out someone that's shooting at him. Aki prepares to fight the guys, uh, but then they all do the same thing the other guy did where... Uh, they start bleeding from their noses and they pass out. Aki keeps looking and he finds the snake girl. Um, she summons the snake devil and issues the command to spit it up. And it spits out the ghost devil. Who then, I guess she can control now because her snake devil ate it. So uh, it starts attacking Aki. And then we get a little bit of info about the future devil's power. Where Aki can actually see a little bit into the future now. Um, but he still ends up getting overwhelmed by the ghost devil who is choking him out. And it ends with him being choked to, to near death. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's the end. And then the AD is a song called "Violence," which is a uh, very fitting for what this entire episode is. This is also the black and white one where they're all like walk. They're walking in like a. I don't know where the hell they are, but they're walking in a place, and they the dude's screaming out "Violence, violence!" Yeah. <laughs> Very well done. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, I really liked the... Man, where to start with this one? I like the introduction of the new dudes, uh, which were which was really fun. Uh, Shark Fiend, who is obviously a favorite for various reasons. 
that you people yeah, will eventually beam. beam the shark fiend. Beam the shark fiend. Love him. Absolutely love him. He's in the OP, which makes me happy because we have all the characters who are finally in the OP who are in the theater, which is uh, Shark Fiend and I think uh, Spider Devil is that woman who is just standing out in the background by herself <laughs> in the in the theater. Um, I can't remember if Angel Devil's in the theater, but I don't think she. I don't think he is because of. Uh, <laughs> the specific ability around Angel Devil make it probably not the smartest idea to put him in a theater. But anyway, I really like the introduction, the violence fiend and Spider Devil, and especially because they were building up these zombies so much because they were just like, oh yeah, any human who touches them, they're gonna take down so many of them, and then they're like, eh, don't worry about it, we got a bunch of fucking fiends. <laughs> well, completely useless. <laughs> these zombies do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um seeing them fight was also great especially because for shark shark fiend is the beam is just like eating them all and he's just like yes yeah he's having the time of his life he's like fuck yeah this is awesome so good and he starts eating yeah like i said he's eating them um angel devil obviously is another character who is it's fun to see people react to angel devil um i really like that someone did the math about how long someone could potentially have sex with angel devil <laughs> Because it really shows, yeah, I see where people are coming from with this character. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> and I did like to see the brief moment of putting out the wings to save Aki, which is fine. That's enough for people to go like, oh, these two characters obviously need to be together forever. <laughs> uh, when Spider-Devil's killing stuff, I thought that was also cool. And of course, like you said, Violence Fiend is just literally a dude in a mask <laughs> punching the yeah. shit out of zombies. Who just really likes punching. <laughs> Yeah, so I really like their introduction, especially the way he introduces them of being like, all right, listen, we're sending them in, but also you need to be careful because if any of these fuckers get out, it's going to be worse than the terrorist. <laughs> we can't let people know uh, that we've got these dudes working, so I thought that was a great way of setting them up. I like the conversation with uh, Maki. There's two of them, but the drinking one, because I like that he brings it up about how, like... Um, the way he sees the other people in the department, he sees them as his dogs. And the way he sees Makima treating them is that she's basically constantly killing, sending her dog, sending his dogs to die, all the people he trains. And he thought that he wouldn't care about the toys that she gave him, but even in his old age, he's starting to care about the toys as well. So it's someone who actually is trying his hardest to not care about what he's doing and the people that he's training, but he just like can't. He's, like, too old and too drunk. He cares too much, and at this point, he doesn't give a fuck if Makima knows that he doesn't trust her at all. <laughs> so, I thought that was a great meeting. Uh, good setup here. Obviously, the stuff with the Yakuza and Makima is also really good. Uh, when she just, like, is, like, talking to him, and she's like, ah, oh, yes. Here's this. He's like, oh, we can't be bribed on this. No, it's eyeballs. From... And she doesn't just say your love. She goes, like, from your wives, your, uh, like, daughters kids stuff like he's she's mentioning all like lovers whatever it is it's their eyeballs and then she mentions like if you sign us away we can reattach them <laughs> which i thought was like really fucked up it's like what but really well done really scary and then obviously when the yakuza dude touches her for a brief moment it's also terrifying like they're doing a really good job showing how fucking scary makama is yes and not someone that you can just fuck around with and try and find out, because the find out, the fuck around and find out chart is not in your favor. Um, that meeting with Future Devil, I thought was really good. Um, Future Devil's a very silly devil, <laughs> is the best way. So he's the guy who's dancing in the OP. If anyone was ever curious, so I really like that. That's kind of the way to do it. I really like the voice they gave him. Uh, I like that Crunchyroll went back and fixed their mistake of saying what he said, because originally uh, he says that your death is going to fucking rule, and uh, it got a lot of pushback from a lot of people saying that's not, you're setting up people wrong about specifically Aki's death, so they went back and actually changed it to saying the thing he says now, which is it's, you die in the worst fucking way possible, so... Good, good on them. Which is what he says in the manga as well, yeah. so that they went back and made it accurate, yeah. which is nice. Without the fucking part, because you can't say fuck in Shonen, Shonen Jump out. Well, yeah. Uh, for <laughs> various reasons. 
Uh, and yeah, this was a good setup to kind of go for the ending here. You can really feel that Denji is more confident in his training that even he says like, oh, if you end up killing me, I, I swear I'll spare your life <laughs> for making me so strong. Um, and I like the conversation Aki has with the guy where the, you like the guy says where he's like, yeah, you kind of got your ass whooped by just a dude. <laughs> so what chance do you actually have to take down the gun devil that took out millions in a couple seconds. Yeah, I love when he's like, didn't you lose to just, like, a guy? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he goes like, listen, after I'm dead and it doesn't work out, then you can laugh at me all you want, but for now, I know how impossible it is, but goddammit, I'm gonna be trying. And the idea of, like, because even the guy who uh, was questioning him said, like, we all wanted to kill the gun devil. We all, No one joins this division doesn't want him dead. But the actual idea of killing the Dun Devil is just so far fetched and so hard to comprehend. Where it's like, you have to be actively crazy if you think that you have her one stand a chance and two can actually do it. So the idea that um, he shows that even at the end he is supporting him, even though he thinks he's crazy, um, is really nice. It's a really nice touch to show, like, yeah, the other people in the division aren't as crazy as specifically the people in the special division. Um,. <laughs> that doesn't mean they don't encourage and like what they're doing or trying to do, like with Loki's doing here. Um, I like the fight he has with the the hand devil, where future devil starts explaining his power, and you think like, oh, he can see the future from his right eye, and then he says like, and that's it. That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> I'm not giving you. There's no like. He doesn't have like time rewind. He does not like Dio. He just has the ability to see just a couple seconds forward with the right eye and that's it you don't get anything else from the deal um that's still plenty enough with his training though he's able to do a pretty good job if he wasn't overwhelmed by just a shit ton of hands he probably would have been able to handle it pretty all right but yeah how do you feel about this episode zen another top quality episode i mean they're all good i don't even know i don't need to say it they're all good um this is a really good fucking adaptation it is it's a, i really like it um, I loved the special operation, the big, like, uh, the Russian thing. I liked getting to see the fiends, like, especially Beam, like you said, is a big fan favorite character. Um, and I really liked Aki getting the new power and the, the reveal that he's going to have to fight Jimeno's, uh, devil is really cool too. Mm-hmm really well done and i again the idea that um they're doing a really interesting thing here with saying like future devil knows that aki is dying and it's going to be really bad way so it kind of makes us so that whatever fight he's doing you try and now think in your head what's the worst way that aki could actually go which is why i feel like the change had to happen Because I feel like if you're looking for a way... Like, a death that fucking rules is completely different from a death that just fucking sucks, no matter what. Yeah, a a death that rules, you think, like, like a cool one. Like, your immediate thought is like, oh, he's going to do something awesome. Yeah. Um, But the actual intention is like, oh, no, it's going to be horrible. Yeah, so now whenever you're looking at specifically a fight and you see the setup, you're thinking in your mind, is this... (laughs) Is this the way you go? Like, this would be pretty bad, being taken down by the devil the person of your basically your best friend the person who got you into the thing in here that you're still mourning the death of that would be pretty bad but it does kind of bring in your mind every single time that aki kind of is going to go going forward here um you're trying to think in your mind what is the worst fucking way that this guy could go out (laughs) and i think that's a really nice way of kind of putting a little more stakes in every fight aki kind of has from this point going forward so I think that's a well done, smart thing to do. Yes, it's a very good decision to fix it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's great. That was literally the only problem anyone is well, except for the crazy people who fucking sign some kind of bullshit list. Uh, <laughs> we're all wrong. We're we're ignoring them though. But any rational yeah, person fuck sees, those guys. <laughs> yeah, fuck those guys. That's that's our current stance, by the way. Go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> But this was the one one where that was the one time where it faltered and it was just literally a translation issue. And they fixed it, so we're all good here. That makes officially uh that original translation lost media. There you go. Another th- <laughs> another thing lost to the echoes. 
lost to time, even though it sucked. Yeah, even though it sucked and it's like literally just a little one sentence change. <sighs> but there we go. Yeah, and this ED is really nice too. The the violence ED. Maybe it's just because it shows power dancing for a little bit, but I still thought it was really cool. <laughs> it is a good ED. Mm-hmm. So let's move on to the final episodes then. Episode 12, Katana versus Chainsaw. So episode 12, we kick in where we left off. Aki getting choked out by the ghost devil, but suddenly the ghost devil stops. Uh, drops him on the ground. Aki has a little flashback of Himeno where... Uh, she takes a cigarette away from him and says, I'll give it back to you when you're older so you can smoke because you're not supposed to smoke because you're too young. Uh, when the ghost devil lets him go, it holds its hand out and it, it ends up giving him that cigarette. Uh, and it has the, the words Easy Revenge written on it. Uh, Aki takes the cigarette and he walks up toward the ghost devil. And Himeno had told him in the past that the ghost devil doesn't have any eyes, so it sees using fear. So he walks up confidently toward it, walks up onto its head, and cuts its head off. While saying that he'll uh, he'll join Himeno and death soon enough. Um, the girl goes to call the snake devil to defend herself, but Koveni jumps her from behind and pulls a knife on her. And Aki says not to kill her. And then he asks why Kobeni ended up staying in public safety, and Kobeni says, uh, we're about to get bonuses soon, so. <laughs> Shouldn't yeah. quit yet. Yep, smart. Um, Work harder, not smart. Wait, no. <laughs> That's the opposite. <laughs> Other way around, yeah. Um, so then it cuts to power and Denji in an elevator, and Denji's eating one of the zombie's arms, and Denji's like, you're nasty, and they start arguing over it. <laughs> yeah, um, she really is just kind of going, ow. <laughs> yeah, tiny bites. And then uh, they go and they see the elevator, uh, or the elevator stops and it opens up. And power, uh, Denji's like, "Hey, the zombies haven't even noticed us, so just be quiet and wait for the elevator to keep going." And power walks out and immediately yells her name, and is like, "I'm the best, and I'm gonna kill you all." Because she realizes that she can easily beat the zombies and it won't be as difficult a fight as the Katana Man would be. <laughs> so, uh... She tells Denji to watch her back while she fights. Denji does not leave the elevator. <laughs> and just stays in it and waits for the elevator doors to close. While Power's having this giant battle with the zombies. And she's talking to Denji the whole time and she's like, watch this, you'll see how awesome I am. <laughs> He's not even there anymore. She's like two steps away from screaming, witness me, and <laughs> she's fighting yeah. these zombies. <laughs> uh, they get to the top and Denji walks out with his hand on his ripcord and they're like, uh, oh, you know, we just want you to atone for killing my grandpa, that's all. And he's like, uh, I don't want to do that. And they're like, come on, man. We'll turn ourselves in if you just let us kill you. And he just goes, no. <laughs> and then they both transform and fight. They have a long fight across the city and down into a train. And then Katana Man cuts off Denji's arms. And then he goes to kill him. And Denji's like, I got a chainsaw on my head. That That's enough for me. And so Katana Man attacks again to hit his head. Except Denji then reveals that, ah... I tricked you because I made you focus on my head, but then I turned one of my legs into a chainsaw and I cut you in half. Uh, and then Katana Man wakes up, and one of the Chainsaw Man chains has bound him to the train, and um, Denji says that, yeah, the cops are going to show up soon, but you killed Himeno, and because of that, there's one less pretty girl out there in the world. <laughs> uh, and he doesn't think that's very fair, because you just go to prison and chill. So we're going to have a contest where we kick you in the nuts over and over again as much as we can. Mm -hmm. um, and Aki's like, oh, is that even worth it, man? Would Himeno like that? And, and she's like, whatever, nerd. And then uh, Aki pulls out the cigarette that says Easy Revenge on it and looks at it. And he gets up and he asks what they get if they win. And Denji says you get his balls if you win. <laughs> and so they start kicking him in the balls over and over again. And there's like a little voiceover of Aki playing, wondering if Himeno can hear him screaming up in heaven <laughs> um, as a requiem for her passing. <laughs> and then uh, Makima's giving a report on the attack, and she's like, yeah, there was an attack by uh, 
some old devil hunters and this this woman, the snake devil, and then the snake devil kills her, and it was probably some deal with the contract she had with the gun devil. Um, and the gun devil is going to... We're going to find it now that the gun devil flesh that we have is starting to move in the direction of the main body. And then uh, we cut back to Aki and them, because it plays the ED, and it ends with them like all having dinner together. And then after the ED, uh, Aki walks out on his balcony, and he chooses to smoke the cigarette that has Easy Revenge written on it. Um, we get Denji having a dream of him looking at the door, and Pachita telling him you can't open the door. Um, and then we see a woman, who manga readers will know who it is, walking along an alleyway and says she wonders if Denji prefers the country mouse or the city mouse which are big trigger words for the manga readers. Mm. Yes, it is. As everyone goes, oh, and everyone else goes, what? And now we have to, unfortunately, that's the end of Chainsaw Man. And that's it until, uh, what, another year or two? <laughs> How long do we have to wait for more Chainsaw Man? <laughs> Painfully long. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I know. Now I'm going to starve. I know, so sad. The name of the ED is called Fight Song, by the way. Uh, that The one that plays as they're like going around having... Oh my god, such a good-ass time. Fuck. I love these characters so much. <laughs> they show them like hanging out. like They do powers like doing the Patrick Seahorse thing. They're hanging yeah, out. They're, they're getting... always, like going throughout their day, like going to the grocery store and shit. Yeah, just kind of hanging out and, you know, living life, loving it. And it's like, god, fuck. I want this to stay forever. <laughs> Yep, and now we gotta wait for... Oh god, it's probably gonna be 2024 before we get any more. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna assume. Because it took, what, two years for more Jujutsu Kaisen, not counting the movie? Uh, y- not counting the movie, even longer. I think three years. Wasn't Jujutsu Jesus Kaisen 2020? Oh, uh, yeah, you might be right on that. Damn it! That's it a ended... Little... Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 ended in March of 2021. And then Season 2 is gonna begin in the summer of 2023. Now, so we how might much... be looking at like 2025 before we see more Chainsaw Man. Now how much of the of uh, the pandemic can we blame on like the lost <laughs> years on specific? Because I feel like that's a very important thing to remember at some point. <laughs> we lost a couple years. <laughs> we lost like two years, I think. Uh, either way. Yeah, it's going to be a very long time. Which is a damn shame, but Let's talk about this episode and how fucking good it is. Um, so fucking good. So good. Um, obviously, the, the Aki stuff, it was we... As he remembers uh, Himeno and he remembers how to take it down, really good stuff. Uh, the smoke that he gets given out was really nice. Uh, I like Kobeni showing up out of fucking nowhere and having to be told to not kill her. <laughs> Because it looked like she was really ready. As we know, as we've seen in previous episodes, Kobeni is fucking ready to <laughs> shoot the gun at any time. Yeah, Kobeni's ready to bust down. Yeah, she's already like, listen, man, I don't have a giant <laughs> speech to give. I'm ready to shoot this right here. But there, he's able to stop her in time, um, which is nice. The power part where she's like, talking so much big about how like oh you witness me see me how amazing i take down all these zombies. how much she's hyping herself up is just so amazing she's like i am beautiful i am powerful <laughs> she's having like the greatest like self-help speech in the world <laughs> uh great uh obviously the fight between chainsaw man and katana man oh my god so fucking good on the train when they're fighting each other when they jump, when the 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 fight legitimately starts, and he like pushes them out of the, into the air, and they're fighting each other in the air for a bit. Ah, oh, it's so fucking good. It was so well done. It kind of remind. Remember how we said like Bat Devil looks really nice, and it feels really weird that they went so far out for <laughs> for a fight versus the Bat Devil of all things. Mm-hmm. That's them showing it to an actual character that had some more build up than just a Bat Devil of some kind. Um. I really like the beginning, too, where they're talking to each other for a bit. Uh, I thought that was well done, where he's saying, like, um, you killed my grandpa. And he was like, dude, he was already a zombie when I killed him. He's like, <laughs> he's like false accusations, <laughs> liar. Yeah, he's like, don't fucking lie to me. 
Yeah, and then she's like being truthful. It's like, no, he killed me first, and then he became a zombie. Or no, he was already a zombie, and then I died, and it's a whole fucking thing. But either way, by the time he was dead, he had already died. So it really doesn't mean anything. But um, I like the conversation that they're having, and how he says, like, you don't feel bad about killing any of the zombies? He's like, no, not really. And he's either telling, he's either lying to him or telling the truth, where he's like, you know, when they replaced my heart with the uh, Katana Devil, um, I still have nightmares about the zombies I kill. So, what does that say about you? That even I find some remorse in what I'm doing, but you can't. Yeah, I thought that was very interesting, obviously, with Denji kind of like... Even, even if it's not true what he's saying, it still puts a little bit more doubt into what Denji's been having lately. It's not enough to stop him from completely kicking his ass, and he kicks his ass in a really good way. Uh, he's able to take what he learned about how, I think the guy tries to tell him, like, didn't my grandpa ever tell you this specifically? And when he kills him, he's like, by cutting him in half, he's like, didn't your grandpa ever tell you about how you don't, how the hunters shouldn't trust the, the prey? Oh, you yeah, have a, uh, the beast should never trust the hunter. Yeah, the beast should never trust the hunter. And he's basically telling him what he had just learned. Obviously, his grandpa would have never taught him that. And he just learned it himself, so uh, really nice. And then obviously seeing the uh, chainsaw leg was pretty nice, too. I also like how he cuts him in half, too. It's a really nice, clean cut. Um, the ending bit with the nut kick. I've been waiting for this ever since Denji kicked Aki in the nuts. This is maybe the greatest um, people who don't agree with each other to suddenly being friends moment in anime history. Where Aki and Denji are able to finally put aside their differences. Denji understands that a hot woman has died. Aki understands that a very dear woman to him has died. We need to kick the nuts of this man until we both feel better. <laughs> until the police come and stop us. <laughs> this man is going to prison. He's going to have the legitimate death. And I'm going to tell you right now. If Superman ended all the... If Batman did this. Where he kicked Joker in the nuts until the police came and stopped him. No one would ever complain about Batman not killing his villains. Because this is the most satisfying nut kick that I've ever seen. It's probably one of the greatest nut kicks in anime history. And this is someone from a big fan of Jackass. This is art. This is beautiful. This is what the epitaph of anything of a medium you would ever hope for. is two dudes being able to bond with each other. By kicking a man in the nuts <laughs> until he <laughs> cries. The ultimate bro out. It's the ultimate bro out. In this one moment, I remember reading this in the manga too. I was like, these two are fucking friends. <laughs> these two love each other. Because you cannot not be friends with a man after you've kicked another man in the nuts countless times <laughs> with each other. It's the ultimate form of bonding. <laughs> There's no way to turn back from it. <laughs> And it's really well done. It's so good the way they kick him in the nuts. They're playing like sad music over it. Too. Yes, that's the other great part is that they're like Aki's tree. This is like Himeno, I know you're looking down on us in from heaven and being proud. <laughs> it's so good. It's such a great. It's similar to how we talk a lot about this about how Gintama is able to mix emotion and. Uh, the silly stuff in a lot of ways. This is like uh, somehow if <laughs> this is like the combination of both of those ideas at the exact same time. Yeah, it's not like if there's a silly episode and then a serious episode. This is literally like ideal. Yes, <laughs> it is the perfect fusion of the two of the ideas. <laughs> Gintama walked so Chainsaw Man could run head first into kicking a man in the nuts. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's great. Uh, I like the <laughs> the little shot of Snake Devil taking out uh, Akane, who is her name, after they reveal who she's from. And them kind of revealing, like, we're coming for the Gun Devil, we have enough, we should know where he is now. And them kind of, like, hyping up the idea of, like, oh, this other person. Who, obviously, if you read the manga, you know who this is. But they don't show her face or anything, so you just have the quote. And that's a really nice way. And obviously the door stuff, which, oh my god, the door stuff. When I looked at it, I was like, oh no. It's happening again. Yeah. Yeah, the, the like, the get hype for next, you know, season or whatever was, uh, were both really good. 
the the uh, I don't know is it saying her name a spoiler? Does that count? You know what? For the we made it this far. We've done a really good job. Let's just not say it. We'll say we know right. who it is, but we both we know, know who it is. If you if you've read it, you know who it is. It's yeah, the, it's the, literally the, show, in... the shot. There was a really good like get hype for what's coming shot. Yes, it's similar to how at the end of this was a friend's experience when he went to go see Avengers, <laughs> the first one, when Thanos showed up and uh, I think someone said no. The first time Thanos shows up and. I think someone said, who was that? And then, he's, and then he had to yell at them and say specifically, look, it's Thanos, look it up. Uh, no, I don't think it was for that. I forget. They had they showed a cube and he's like, what the hell is that? And then he had to say, like, it's fucking this. It's all right. Don't worry about it. That's basically how everyone feels. We know who this person is. That's good enough for us. Um, but yeah, this episode's great. This is a great end. Fight song is also really good. It's a really nice way of doing it. Like, that ED is some of the best stuff. I still feel like the the power-specific ED is my favorite one, but this one's probably a... That is, I think, also one of the better ones. The song, I don't know, because the songs are all really good. Yeah, the song... Like, yeah, the animation-wise, the power one's really good. It's probably between the power one and this one for me, Yeah, animation-wise. If I were going to have a, a three-way fight, it's this one... Um, this ED, the Power One, and then the the '90s aesthetic, the '80s, the '90s aesthetic anime one where it's just Himeno throwing up into Denji's mouth, not rainbow vomit. <laughs> yes, the one where it's both heavy fan service and also Himeno throwing up into his mouth in like a circular motion as they go. We know what this episode is. <laughs> it would probably be between that for me. But yeah, all really, good. really fucking well done. And yeah, there's... Man, great, great ending for a season for a season one. I've done a fantastic job. How do you feel, Zen? Uh, complete agreement. Uh, great season one. I really like it. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any major complaints this season. I know people are like, oh, they're cutting out stuff. But I'm like, I don't care. I don't really care that much. I, 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 I feel it. like enough of what they have, though... You understand the basic idea of what Chainsaw Man is for these. Specific yeah, I, ones. I don't know. Yeah, if I if I'm mad about the cutout content, I'll just fucking read it. Yeah, the, you <laughs> know, like... here's a, you, here's my suggestion: read Chainsaw Man. You can literally do it in a day. Yeah, you could. It's ninety, but ninety five chapters for part yeah. one. This was fucking thirty three chapters. Yep. These twelve episodes are thirty three chapters, and I can tell you right now, you will fin you could read all those thirty three chapters in probably the space of time it takes to finish two episodes. <laughs> they go by quick, because uh, a lot of them are fighting and stuff. Um but you know, again, as we're both big fans of the manga, I don't feel like except for that one part with the future devil, I did not feel like they were skimping on anything really. Um they gave you exactly what kind of what you want. And you can't do a perfect one to one because at that point you're just like, just read, just read the manga. At that point, you have to make concessions for time and stuff like that. What is actually like what you're going to be showing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it worth it to have all that little stuff for really good quality of all the big stuff? You know, so yeah, yeah. And again, the manga is always there. You can always check it out yourself. And when you, especially, I guess, again, you have to always remember that there's some adaptations of anime that are actively, I, if you want to talk about, you want to talk about an actual butchering, because if people think this is butchering, this is not butchering. I've had to suffer through three separate fucking Negima anime, all three of them <laughs> not telling the story of the fucking an of the fucking manga. Three, <laughs> three of them. Just uh, never forget Toriko, the, oh. the worst adaptation of all time. <laughs> Toriko as well. Like, there's so many that you could point to and go like, oh yeah, just terrible adaptations of it, and being like, just not taking into account what is important in the actual manga and stuff. Hell, you cannot say this to me while looking at the corpse of the Promised Neverland and tell me that this anime did not. <laughs> Man, what happened there? That's such a modern anime to get butchered like that. It is. It's crazy how they butchered that one. And this is not even going, you know, whatever. The story is the story for the people who don't like the story. That's not neither here nor there. There is still a butchering of what they were trying to do. Like, the base thing you could do is at least adapt the thing that 
for the people who liked it, and you can't even do that right. That is actively something that is terrible that is done. That is something that is not done correctly, and this is not one of those examples. I don't feel that way, at least for these 12 episodes. Who knows from this point forward, but as far as I'm concerned, the first season, this is a pretty good case of how you should adapt something. And be and be happy with it. Like, I don't know. I I just don't see the people who were disappointed in it. Obviously, both me and you, big fans of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if people want to complain about it, like, whatever, but... yeah. At some point, it's people so just... weird to me to be like, "Oh, we have to do it again." Why? So you can have this the fucking muscle devil or whatever that thing is from chapter two <laughs> that everyone freaked out about. Like, shut up, man. Yeah, come on, don't, don't, don't be weird about this. Yeah, at that point, it's like, do you really want a full, just like side? At that point, you're what you're actually asking for is an old style of anime. You want the return of like, like Naruto. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, not only is everything adapted, but it's like, you, there's a lot of filler too, because they're actually caught up with the ad. They caught up with the manga way faster than they thought for. So there's more of that. And I can kind of understand being nostalgic for that kind of idea of like a 200 deep thing. But at the same time, you know, One Piece is doing that. And that's over a thousand episodes long. <laughs> And that's too many episodes, even as a fan of One Piece. So I kind of uh-huh. prefer this, where it's like, here's the slice of it. Take this, and if you really enjoy it and you feel like you're missing out on some stuff, maybe also point you to the manga, which is a lot of the time what anime is used for, is a selling thing of saying, hey, check out this manga. And I think it does a fantastic job at that. And yeah. Oh, so that's the end of Season 1 of Chainsaw Man, Zen. Feels weird to say, huh? We technically finished a season. Did we? Well, we, I guess we never finished. Uh, <laughs> we did, we, did we did technically about it. finished we, GX, we but not all the way there. Yeah, no, we both finished the season one of GX. We have not recorded the episode about GX, mm-hmm. but as far as this is concerned, we are done with Chainsaw Man until they start releasing more Chainsaw Man stuff. Do you think they're going to end up doing a movie? I think it's popular enough to get a movie. I just don't know what they do with a movie. I don't know, like, because I guess they'd have to make the Reese arc into a movie, but I feel like that's too much stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Well, I guess not, because that's how many chapters is that? I'm gonna Google how many chapters the Reese arc is right now. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised that there's actually a. Uh... Um, when I looked it up, I think it ended up being. Jesus Christ! There's so many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, no, mm-hmm. I, they could probably do it. Yeah, they pr- they probably could. If they want to, it's a completely different thing. I don't know, if it really feels like they, the current thing that they want to do is that they want to make movies for stuff that's popular. Like, they're making um, a Spy X Family movie. I don't know if that's basing it off of anything, but they, they are doing one. <laughs> Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen has a movie, and but that they got lucky with that one because they could just adapt the Zero, which is technically not Jujutsu Kaisen, but is still important to Jujutsu Kaisen. Right. Um, they had nothing to go with for uh Demon Slayer. They had to adapt that arc, and then they had to readapt it when they actually <laughs> did the anime for it. Um. So yeah, I'll be interested to see. Obviously, One Piece constantly gets movies and dragon ball gets movies when they remember that oh yeah dragon ball makes movies we should make movies. oh we gotta cash in on some dragon ball real quick yeah all right take this out of the attic <laughs> go on get up there and do a new form <laughs> dokkan needs new content get your ass on that stage and <laughs> make a new form um yeah, we'll we'll be interested to see from that. But obviously, the next if they're able to come to like adapt this many chapters into one, I think it's probably like the next two arcs, and then they save it. Do you think they f- finish part one of Chainsaw Man? Basically, is what I'm saying by next season. Do you think? No. Or they no. save it I for think, I think three? I think we're, think we're three. three. Yeah. 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 I think so. I, I think that makes the most sense. It's it's because I mean if you think about it, this was thirty. Would you say thirty three? Yes. When I looked it up, it was uh, thirty three chapters. So that's that's almost exactly thirty eight. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Thirty eight chapters. Yeah, that's almost exactly three.
three seasons. Okay. I think, yeah, I think that works out then. Oh, man. So, yeah, we'll look forward to it. It's going to be devastating when we get to that final season. <laughs> but that also gives us more time to go through the current uh, arc of uh, Chainsaw Man, which has been very good in the manga. So, plenty of stuff to go through. Man, we have to eventually end this because we have to stop talking about Chainsaw Man, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I know, I don't ever want to stop talking about Chainsaw Man. Nah, it's a shame. It's also it's also a shame that we live in a specific time of adaptation where it's like, they're not making a Chainsaw Man video game. We're, it's getting I know, a gotcha. If this was like the early 2000s, there would be so many video games. Oh, are you kidding me? It would be so good. We were robbed then. These, uh, all, a lot of the, we could have had a really good, imagine Jump Force with <laughs> Denji and Anya from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate team up. That's what we're being robbed of by not having a good Shonen Jump fighting game. Is that we're being robbed of these interactions that I clearly want. Yeah, Jump Force ain't doing it. All this garbage. No. And then the only thing we have left is like gotchas. And I don't think Chainsaw Man really fits into a gotcha. And considering that it's taking them like 50 years to actually finish that Jujutsu Kaisen gotcha. Uh... Jesus, I, don't... I know. It doesn't even look that good. I'm going to play it because it's Jujutsu Kaisen, but yeah. like, goddamn, taking four and a half years to release a gacha that kind of just looks like an FGO ripoff. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> that doesn't sound very promising, but hey, we'll see. But yeah, if we were just like in the right... If we had hit the right decade of adaptation, we would have gotten on some really sick-ass Chainsaw Man video games. And by really sick-ass, I mean some really sweet 6 out of 10 video games that were... <laughs> that I like... Oh, man. But anyway, that's the end of Chainsaw Man, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us for the entirety of it. We have stuff planned for a future for a series. Obviously, we're going to try and finish Yu-Gi-Oh! GX next, next week. That one's going to be a long-ass one because there's multiple episodes to talk about. Uh, some amazing and then some that are not good, a.k.a. the... the ch- the uh, Monjome one. <laughs> the, yeah. They got. They started out get. Stop giving my boy the bad episodes. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. It actually, to be fair, it's not bad because of him. It's bad because of uh, Oscar. <laughs> because it's another episode yeah. focused around a guy <laughs> who's obsessed with Oscar. <laughs> it's not his fault. He's doing his best. <laughs> He's just trying. He's just trying. Who hasn't fallen for the siren song of Asuka? She's got everything you want in a woman. She hangs out He's at a... the real audience insert. Exactly. She hangs out at a, t- uh, at, a, at a lighthouse all the time. Who? What man wouldn't fall for a woman who hangs out at a lighthouse all the time? <laughs> it's just the truth of the matter. Uh, we will continue on with Gintama. We thankfully uploaded that and that came out first and then we have some other stuff that we have planned out some stuff that we've wanted to start watching that uh we talked about beforehand before we got crazy busy and we were unable to finish it but after we finish gx expect some new series to talk about as we also continue to make our way through gintama because i feel like the smart thing to do right now is to while we're focusing on the big dog which is gintama which is a lot of episodes we start busting through some of the ones that have maybe not as much episodes as the other one something that you could easily finish in like a month or two is the current idea so get hyped for that and obviously, uh, if we can finish Jujutsu Kaisen, that would be if we can if we can get started on Jujutsu Kaisen, that'd be really good because I would like to start that new anime <laughs> right when it comes out. But we'll see. But thank you very much for watching with us. And as always, you can find more stuff from Zen over on Zen's channel, which I have remembered to uh, link right here at the end at the end bit. Boom. Uh, you can find more f- stuff featuring me, Wokey, at my channel. Check it out. I do stuff uh, besides just play Fago sometimes, but it's mostly Fago. If we're being real, <laughs> if we're being one hundred percent real here, it's mostly Fago. <laughs> I also you, do streams. You're making of... a game, it's like Dragalia Lost's spiritual successor. I can't be hurt again, Zen. <laughs> 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 they... they can't. Not they... a second time. No. The only time I'll do if there if there was ever a game that was getting a game that got very similar but maybe with hopefully better development because it's not a gotcha, um, it would have to be War Collection. I think that's the only thing. Otherwise, I've done I've already did my time. 
I can't be hurt again. Our collection would have Denji in it by now. Let me talk. Let's talk about a real fucking Shonen Jump gotcha game that understood the people. It had Demon Slayer before it died. It, yeah, it had Demon Slayer before Demon Slayer got popular. Damn right. It they would have gladly added Denji when he had nothing, <laughs> and then man, oh, I know she's not as good, bro. It's it's, oh. it's not as good. It's it's not nice to, to talk, bad talk your second wife, son. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the video everyone thank you very much for watching we'll see us next time on Shonen Archive <laughs> goodbye <laughs> we back baby <laughs>